Hi there, it's Ivan and you are watching Puzzle Guy channel. I don't solve a lot of padlock puzzles on my channel since most of them are either too easy or too expensive, but I think that I found one that is somewhere in the middle. It is not too easy and not too expensive. The name of my today's puzzle is B-Lock 2. It was designed by Boss Feldman from Israel. It has difficulty level 8 out of 10 and the object is obviously to open the lock. As you can see, we have a lock in the key and it looks like a regular padlock. And it was a regular padlock before it was modified to become a puzzle. If you like B-Log 2 puzzle and you want to buy it, I will put a link in the video description as always. And if you want to see my attempt to open the B-Log 2, keep watching the video. And now let's try to solve the B-Log 2 puzzle. That is my first puzzle lock that was originally made as a lock and then converted into a puzzle. Before, I've been solving a couple of padlocks, but they were pretty easy and they were uh, made as a puzzle from the very beginning. But this one is completely different since it's a regular lock, which is made in Israel and it is converted into a puzzle in Israel as well. So let's try to figure out the way how to solve it. And by the way, it comes with nice pouch and now let's start the stopwatch and try to solve it so i think that i'm allowed to remove the key since it is attached to a padlock just with a rubber string hope i'm not breaking any rules so let's take a closer look at a key first it looks like a a regular key, nothing special. Yeah, just a regular key. Okay, and now let's take a look at the lock. Again, looks like a regular lock and the weight is like a regular lock of this size. So, again, nothing really special. Oh, that is interesting. The shackle is moving a little bit, but usually I think that in a padlock, the shackle is always when it's closed, it is always uh, always in one position and it is not moving, but here it moves a little bit, so probably it's gonna be a part of the solution. I don't really know. So, don't see any clues or any anything that's gonna help me to solve it. So let's try to fit the key inside and to open it. Okay, and obviously nothing happened. I didn't expect to open it so easy. It would be not a puzzle, it would be just a regular lock. Yeah, I can't open it even if the shackle is out or inside. Okay, let's e. The puzzle is pretty new and pretty tight. So what else I can do? Let's try to move the shackle all the way out and put the key inside. Maybe it's gonna help me. Don't think it's gonna help me. And I'm trying to rotate the key. Nothing happens. Even if I put it just a little bit, nothing happens. Okay. So I don't know, maybe some of my viewers know how to solve padlock puzzles. And you're gonna be laughing as crazy right now, but I'm, I have to try some some moves that are helping me to solve other puzzles. Since it's my first padlock, I don't know what what to do next. So maybe some no some some moves from other puzzles are not helping me at all. So let's take a closer look at a padlock again so there are like five marks here I don't know if they were made when the original padlock was made or it is a part of the puzzle but I don't think it's gonna help me since I can't even push these parts they're kind of I don't know they, they're kind of a part of the lock nothing is moving there Let's try to move the shackle. Oh, okay. When I move it, I can feel that the K 
T-hole is moving a little bit as well. But probably it's supposed to do this move since the shackle is locked with the mechanics of the lock and it is connected to keyhole and the key. So that's that's not something important, I think. Okay, let's try again. I tried to open it with the key many times, but nothing happened. Okay, maybe if I try to look inside the keyhole, it's gonna help me. I have to find where is my cell phone and turn on the flashlight. Let's see. I don't know if you can see something inside the lock, but I can. And you know what? I think that it is a little bit different than a regular keyhole. Usually when the uh, lock is made, it has as many uh, pins inside as many uh, peaks on the key. Like here you can see one, two, three, four, probably it's supposed to be like five, but here inside the lock there are only three. So probably I have to fit the key inside with all first three peaks like this and keep it like this. Maybe this is gonna be the correct way to solve it. So let's try to count. One, two, three. So that looks kind of correct, but nothing is happening. So now the shackle is all the way inside. If I put it all the way out, nothing is happening again. Maybe some middle position. No, don't think so. Okay, maybe my guess is not correct and I have to do something else. Let me try a little bit more. I don't even feel like I can rotate it a little bit more than in other ways. Oh, the key is still is moving a little bit inside. Maybe I have to move it in a little bit and then to rotate. No. Okay, I have to move it back and try again. Nope, don't think it's gonna help me. Oh, I think that I felt some kind of move now. Let's try again a little bit more. Nope, please. Nope. No, I don't think. It is a correct one. Let's try again. One, two, three. Oh, I think that somewhere in the middle when I was moving the shackle, something happened and I was... Oh! ta -da! Okay. Puzzle is solved. That is pretty nice. Nothing on this side. I don't think it's going to help me to figure out the way how it was solved. I'm not quite sure what I've made, but I've been able to solve it. That was my attempt to solve B-Log2 puzzle. As you could see, it is a not very easy, but also not a very difficult puzzle. And it may take you quite some time to figure out the way how to open it. And when you're done solving the puzzle and you don't want to play with it anymore, you can use it as a regular padlock. I'm just wondering if this uh, padlock is uh, peak lock proof. If people who can uh, open uh, padlocks with, without keys can open this one, since this one is a little bit trickier. If you know something about padlocks, please write in the comments what do you think about that. As always, if you like this puzzle and you want to buy it, link is going to be in the video description. And if you enjoyed watching my video, hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, and push the bell button to be notified every time I upload a new video. See you next time!